As part of its repositioning as a fixer brand, Direct Line is aiming to make the roads a little bit safer with its first smart crossing. We're here at Wimbledon to see how it works. The idea for smart crossings was born out of the problems that uh, road crossings face. There's three demonstrations of what the crossing can do. Um, one of them is mass crossings, so the crossing itself will widen to accommodate more pedestrians. So particular examples after school when there's suddenly high football in the area. Um, and then we've also got high sided vehicle, so blind spots is a key problem. So in our example, the cyclist flies down the side, assumes everyone has crossed and it will make them aware there's still another pedestrian on the crossing. And then we also have our default crossing, which is our uh, standard, you stop, it stops the cars around you, it lets you cross and it waits until you get to the other side. So particularly for elderly, disabled pedestrians that take longer to cross, it will enable them to do so safely. It is a little bit Blade Runner, it is a little bit Tron, but I think that's, that's, that's great, isn't it? I think, you know, in this day and age, the way that technology is, is moving, we're moving more towards, you know, digital services, they're becoming cheaper and cheaper. So this, this kind of modular approach to a smart crossing that can be picked up and moved to outside sports stadiums or, you know, places of, of high traffic and, and high accidents is a, is, a great, is a great approach. Mm -hmm.